Hi, learn how to choose a lithium battery protection board in just a few minutes. These are called protection boards. The technical name is BMS. The full name is Battery Management System. It provides protection for lithium batteries against overcharging, overdischarging, and more. It is an essential tool for the safe use of lithium batteries. To choose a suitable BMS, first you need to determine your battery type. For example, some ternary lithium or lithium iron phosphate. Then specify how many cells and the current, how many amps you need. There is also a hardware version, a software version, an active balancing version, or a hybrid version. Or for example, what are things like URT485 communication ports? Sounds complicated. How exactly do you choose a suitable BMS? Give me a few minutes. I'll explain it all clearly. These apply to BMS of all brands. Recommend liking and saving. Let's take a BMS for a detailed demonstration. Generally, BMS have specifications labeled on them. For example, here's a lithium iron phosphate 4S 12 volts 80 amps BMS. Lithium iron phosphate 4S 12 volts is your battery pack information. And 80 amps is your matched current. So the first step in choosing a suitable BMS is determining how much current you need. All right, there are two scenarios. First, if your battery pack is for power equipment, like an electric bike, then the BMS's current should match the controller's current limit on the power equipment. In principle, the BMS's current rating should not be lower than the controller's limit. For example, a common 48 volts, 20 ampere hours lithium battery pack for electric bikes usually has a controller limit around 10 plus amps. So a 20 amps or 30 amps BMS is enough. No need to choose the big one. A board like this can be used. The second scenario, your battery pack is for an energy storage system. Then the BMS's current should match the inverter's output power in the energy storage system. It's quite easy to understand. For example, some common 48 volts lithium battery packs paired with a 3000 watt inverter output power. In this case, a 100 amps protection board would suffice. Or you can refer to this formula. In general, the BMS's current rating should err on the higher side, not lower. Too low might trigger overcurrent protection prematurely or even cause overheating. Higher ratings also need cost consideration. So choosing the right one is key. The current rating on the protection board must indicate continuous current. The max current must not be exaggerated. And it's not about short-term peak current. By now you should understand the basics of choosing a BMS. It's about determining the required current. Because the BMS is directly connected in series in the circuit. So the primary task is figuring out the working current needed. Then the BMS's sense wires collect data from each cell and the total voltage. This forms the basis of the BMS. It is also the most important protection feature, overcharge and overdischarge prevention. Insert the temperature control probe onto the BMS again. Adds an extra layer of temperature protection. Of course, if the working current is too high or there's accidental short circuiting, it also provides overcurrent and short circuit protection. That covers hardware BMS. Relatively, there are also software versions of smart BMS. Smart systems add communication ports on top of the hardware, as UART, 485, and CAN are all communication methods. With these, you can use a phone or computer to monitor and modify battery pack data in real time. For example, you can check the battery pack's charge level or add a display to see the charge. Very convenient. Then we could add some buzzers or some external control switches. With a GPS module, you can even enable remote control. Get location information. For lithium battery vendors, smart BMS make remote maintenance easier and improve after-sales service in some specific scenarios, like displays needing certain protocol types. Only smart BMS can be used. However, there are many types of smart BMS available on the market. As for interstring or configurable protection BMS, or active balancing integrated BMS, or starter BMS for truck applications. How should we go about choosing these BMS to use? We'll cover those in the next video.